Hello there and welcome to your first Bash tutorial. Bash is a program for Linux and Unix computers, including Mac, um, that lets you navigate your file system and do cool stuff to it. Bash is also kind of like a programming language, so you can write programs using Bash and run them, to usually to automate tasks. So, when you open up the command line, which, by the way, you do this on Mac by going to Applications and then Utilities, and then um, there will be a program called Terminal, and you can launch that. On Ubuntu, there should be a, an icon called Terminal somewhere in your menu bar, and in other Linux distributions, um, I'll just let you Google that. So once you've got the Terminal open, you can um, decide whether you're using you might not be using bash already, so um, the way you figure out what your default shell is, which is what bash is a certain kind of shell, the way you figure out what kind of shell you're using is you do echo, type echo, and then a dollar sign, and then zero. And mine says bash, but I could have well been using sh, in which case it would say sh. So um, if you want to just use bash to try it out, you can type in bash and then hit enter and let me actually show you this from sh so you can see the difference if you type in bash then you get this different prompt usually it's a little bit different at least um, or if you want to change your default to bash um, first you do which bash and then you just uh, copy that I just right clicked and went to copy and then you can do uh, chsh dash s and then paste and you've got ch sh dash s slash bin slash bash or you know whatever whatever this says it's it can be different on different computers and then you hit enter and you enter your password and it changes it so i didn't do that because it's already bash but um so so in bash you type when you're using bash you type in commands um what a good command is ls um, it lists the files in whatever directory you're inside of. It's got this notion of a current directory, also called a working directory, where you're, uh, it keeps track of what directory you're in. So if, if I do um, ls, it, I'm, since I'm in tutorial in this folder called tutorial and it has no files or folders in it, when I do ls, which lists the, num the files in it, there is no result. So if I type but if I create a file, like I'm going to create a file called hello.txt, I just created an empty file. I do ls, now it says, you know, it gives me some information about it, including the user who created it or the user who owns it, technically, and when it was created and then the name of the file. So we can create a, co a couple of um, files like this. We could, do, we could also do um, what's up dot html. And then we've got two, two of these files. So, um, so ls lists the files. <clears throat> and you can also create directories, like say we want to create a directory inside of tutorial. And by the way, let me show you, on Mac you can do this thing. It's not on every operating system, but if you do open dot, with a space in between the open and the dot, it will open up a finder window that shows you the contents of the, of the um, of the folder. So if I resize this, you can actually see what's happening in the folder in real time. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create another empty file like this. I'm going to call this one. Um, I already did hello, so um, dinosaur.txt. And there, what? There you go. You got an empty file called that dinosaur. And so we can also create directories. So the command for that is mkdir. Type an mkdir, and then we can do um, my directory. And there you go, you have a directory. And there's nothing inside of it, but you can also you can see, um, change, into, change your working directory to that new directory. And the way you do that is type in cd, and then what's called the relative path to that directory, which is just, at this point, it's just my directory. You don't have to have the slash. You can have a slash afterwards if you want. And so now this changes to show the full path to my directory. So you can create empty files, you can create empty directories. Now what if you create a file inside a directory? 
I'm just going to call this hello with no extension. So you can have files with no extension after that. That's a little, might be a little weird, but it's common in Unix file systems. Um, so you can um, and then say we want to delete that file. We can just um, rm, which is stands for remove, and then the name of the file. So rm hello, and that deletes it. And there's an important caution here: is that um, once you delete a file using rm, <clears throat> there's no going back. Basically, I mean there are there is a way sometimes to get it back, but it does not go to your trash like or your recycle bin like it so often does when you delete it from like if I delete this file from you know from finder if I just go to like delete I guess it's not there but like if you if I went to edit and then delete or I guess that's not there either if I just you know hit command D command uh, backspace it would delete it and I could just um, restore it from the trash later if I decide I didn't want to actually delete it but with when you're removing stuff with RM it's pretty much permanent that you deleted it. There are sometimes ways to go back, but it, you can't count on that. You have to just assume that RMing something just completely obliterates it. So um, so let's say that we have some files in, um, in our directory. Um, hello, and then I'm going to call another one there. So I've got two files in the directory. Now I'm going to move back. Uh, this is a command that uh, moves up one directory. So if I was inside my directory, it would move into tutorial, which is this like the, the directory that contain that um, that contains my directory. And the dot dot means one directory up. It doesn't mean actually move into a directory called dot dot. It means move into um, the above directory. So if we type that, then all of a sudden we're in direct, we're in tutorial again. And if you want to see a full path to whatever um, directory you're in, you can just type in pwd and it will print out the full path to the current directory. Um, and if you want to, if you're in another directory, like say I'm in slash, which is just the root directory. By the way, this is what that looks like. There's a bunch of stuff. Um, if I want to go between this and the previous one, I can just do cd dash and it will go in between. You have to have a space, but by the way, in between CD and dash. You always have to have a space after the uh, command. And um, so that'll just, it just changes into the previous working directory. So since the previous working directory was tutorial, then when I'm in slash, I'll hit CD dash and it'll move into the previous one. And now the previous one is slash. So if I do CD dash, it'll move into slash. So that's a nifty trick right there. Um, so what if I want to remove this my directory? I can do I can try to do rm my directory, and it says my directory is a directory. Uh, so it won't delete it. It actually did not delete it. So um, you have to do something special. Um, you can do rm dir, which is a special command for directories, and then my directory. But that causes an error too. It says the directory is not empty, and there's a reason that they do this. It's because they want to make it. They want to make it hard to accidentally like delete a whole directory. Because you know, in, in in Linux file systems, in Unix file systems, there's often files with no extension. So it's easy when you're looking at a list of file names. Like you know, is this a file or is this a directory? So it's kind of ambiguous when you see a name and you just like rm whatever and then you're like you're thinking you're going to delete a file but then you accidentally delete a directory so that would be bad so they don't let you delete directories with rm without pretty much forcing uh, there's a special way to say I want to delete a directory but I haven't shown that to you yet um, and so if we want to delete my directory so far we just uh, move into the directory and you know delete each of the files inside the directory so I'm just getting rid of any file that's in my directory so I can use that rm command, rm dir command. So now it's empty. And now when we go back, I do rm dir, my directory, it deletes it. Now it would be a pain if we knew we wanted to delete a directory. Make it back and add some files. I just called them one, two, three, and four. Um, and we want to delete the whole directory, um, 
and we know we want to delete the directory. It would be a pain if we had to go in and delete one, two, three, four every time, even though we know we want to delete that directory. So the way you do it is you do rn dash r, and then my dir, and then the name of the dir. Actually, whoops, I'm sitting in it, so I can't delete it. But rn dash r, and then my dir, and so that will delete the entire thing. And as I said, there's no going back. So make sure you are very careful about what you rm because it's almost impossible to get stuff back usually completely impossible so we've done that <clears throat> and by the way dash r stands for recursive so it recursively deletes every file inside of rm just an interesting fact um, you can if you want to know about how to use a command you can do man and then rm and it will give you information about it um, these things are notorious for not giving examples, so its value is kind of in the eye of the beholder, but <clears throat> um, usually it's pretty easy to find some examples online, uh, at least until you get into the more obscure commands. So that's it for tutorial one. Thanks for watching.